Do you have a melancholy temperament? Or you are close to somebody who has a melancholy temperament? This short video will, will give you an overview of the strengths and weaknesses of the melancholy. To our ongoing series about temperaments. Today we're going to look at the melancholy temperament. The name melancholy and the names that we use for the different temperaments are based upon and come out of the Arnold Profile System, which is a, a temperament analysis tool, a, a clinical diagnostic tool, if you like, developed by Drs. Richard and Phyllis Arnold of the NCCA. And it's used by counselors all over the world to help them understand and teach uh, their, their clients about their God-given temperament and their makeup. And this particular model now looks at a person's needs in three different areas. One is what we call inclusion. How social is the person? Are they need to have a lot of social relationships? Are they more loner types? The secondary is in the area of control and with respect to relationships. Are they tend to be want to control or in charge in relationships or are they very dependent? And the third area is in the need for affection or need for love and affection uh, to and to establish deep personal relationships. So you can see a person can be melancholy in one or two or three areas and not just one overall. But those are the needs. The, the arm profile system measures our inborn temperament and it's not a personality uh, test at all that alerts us to tendencies, strengths that we have, weaknesses. It's like, Lord, transform me, change me, change the, the weaknesses of that by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not an excuse for sin or bad behavior. We, people just can't say, well, that's how I am. There's no better or worse temperament types, just different and associated strengths and weaknesses. And the idea is, if you know your temperament needs or the needs of someone close to you, you, you want to understand those needs need to be met in godly ways. Or if not, then problems and sinful behaviors are going to result. All right. Here are the temperament types. Just put them up here briefly. There's five of them. Supine, sanguine, phlegmatic, melancholy, choleric. Uh, many of the terms are very familiar. The fifth temperament there in the top left-hand corner, supine, was actually developed by the Arnos. And as I say, today we're going to look at the melancholy temperament. And these are very broad brush characteristics of each of these temperament areas. And uh, as you can see there, the melancholy is typified by what we would call typically loners. Okay, what are the, what are the, what are the, the traits of a melancholy, primarily melancholy personality or melancholy temperament, sorry? Um, tend to be more introverts and loners, not very social. Uh, generally, I need quiet time alone to regenerate. Very active minds, deep thinkers, tend to, to, towards being very creative and artistic, and very independent. Don't try to control a lot of people, but they want they don't want a lot of control over their life as well. What are the weaknesses of that temperament? Very prone to rejection. Uh, can perceive low uh, rejection when it's not even there. Tend towards low self-esteem. Can become moody and anger. Uh, moody because many times the anger will go inward, typically, and ha can have long memories for people who who have wounded them or hurt them. Very active minds tend to play the what-if games over and over again, and can tend to be, if you know, if not dealt with, we're very rigid and and stubborn and pessimistic. What are the strengths of the melancholy temperament? They tend to make very good leaders, um, make good decisions, give it enough time and info. They, they're good at, they have good active minds, and, they, and you give them good data and good info and enough time, and they'll make good decisions. They understand tasks and systems very well. They're very dependable, loyal, and faithful folks for the most part. And they're empathetic, and they're very good at making and keeping deep commitments to people. We do these temperament analysis for people all over the world. You can look at our website for more information. We have a lot more on all the temperaments. We'll get your temperament profile done with us. We do it over the internet or in our office. You get a counseling session. You get your own personal profile report. It's a very useful tool to help you understand yourself. If it's just for in you just watch this for interest, that's fine too. Maybe help you understand um, somebody that you live with. So we hope that's been of interest and uh, that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.